So, you can... There are private labs out there, just like there are, are, I mean public. There are public labs out there, just like uh, manufacturing. So here's, if I go click on this, installations and go to, so let's say I want material level labs. Okay, we want public and we want anything in this region. Here we go. And I'll show you what the state of affairs is for public labs. I've got this set to the least time. So here's a place. 45 days is gonna be your wait to use a lab. And these are full, let me show you. This is full. And by the way, this isn't even the forge region. This is one region over. Let's look at another one, 29 days. 29 days wait, how about this one? 34 day wait, 41 day, 35 day, 32 day, yeah. Okay, so, oh, there's 19 days, that's not bad. But guess what? That one's in low sec. <laughs> You're going to drag that into low sec with you. I think that's in low sec. It probably is low sec. I guess I can find out. Yep, that's low sec. So you're going to take your uh, precious blueprints in a shuttle into low sec. Good luck. But that's the lowest, 19 days. And that's about as good as it's going to get. That's actually not bad. It's usually about a month for the wait time. So that's material level. Let's look at time efficiency. How about time efficiency? Oh, look at that, open. So there are public labs available for time efficiency, if you want. And I've used them before, just because I was, I guess before I had a player on station though. But there's no point in me using them now because I've got um, enough labs that I don't need to worry about public slots. How about copy? Would you like to use a copy, public copy slot? There's 12 days, 24 days, 23 days, 14 days. That's not bad. I thought that'd be worse than ME. Wow, I'm surprised you can even get a copy slot. Okay, so there are some 12 day copy slots, I guess. There are a few copy slots available, but still 12 days, that sucks. Oh, there's a 10 day. Okay, so there's public labs. So good luck, public labs are crap. Um, what you'll want is private labs, but I'll get into that a little later. Okay, skills. Let's talk about skills. There are some skills you need to start uh, doing anything to do with science. That's under the science tab. Whoops, not that one. Science lab. Okay, uh, so the first one you're gonna need, I think it's called lab, lab operation. This is just lab slots, isn't it? Yes, lab slots. So when you start the game, I think you get one with nothing, no skills. Uh, each one of these gets you five, right? And then you, there's another skill called advanced lab that gives you another five. So your max is 11 and my max is 11. 11 lab slots per character. Okay, uh, other skills. So let's see, scientific networking I think is range. Yeah, this is the range that you can be away from your blueprint. So if you're out in space somewhere um, let's say you're let's say you're out in space. You cannot set up a lab job with the blueprint unless you have at least level one in this skill. If you're out in space, if you're docked with your um, if you're docked with your blueprint in your hand, essentially, or in, right in your uh, in the item hanger where you are, you don't need any in this. If you're out in space, you need one level one in this, or you can't set up your job remotely. Uh, level two gets you five jumps, okay, et cetera, et cetera. Science skill, I think this is time. Oh, this blueprint. So this one reduces the copy time for blueprints. The, yeah, the copy slot. You're gonna use a copy slot. Science skill reduces the uh, copy time. As well as, I think this is a prereq for the other skills. Okay, Reese, no, that's not really, la or maybe I should talk about that later. I'll make a note of research at the very end. That has to do with data cores. Actually, I'll talk about that when I do invention. Okay, I'll talk about that in for invention. Okay, research, research skill. This is 5% on the uh, PE right here. This is productivity level, reduction of how long it takes. So you can get five in that and it's 25% less time. Okay, what else? Oh, okay, here's an important one. Metallurgy. This reduces material efficiency speed. So that is a, a mandatory one for everybody. If you're going to have anything to do with, with uh, 
labs at all, you'll want this one. Material efficiency, research time reduction. So 25% reduced time on that. Okay, that's it for skills for now. Now, um, okay, next is type of types of jobs, but I've already kind of done that. PE, you can do PE, um, ME, copy slots. Okay, there's also invention, which I haven't talked about yet. So let's do invention real quick. I recommend that you look up a wiki on this, but I'm going to do a, a brief run through now. So some blueprints you can invent with a copy, and that will get you the tier two version of the blueprint in copy form. Okay, so here's some versions. These are T2 freighters. And what, I, what you need for that is you need a copy of the tier one. So I need for this, for this Rhea, I needed a copy of a Charon. And then uh, there's some materials and I'll get you that. You need an invention slot as well. And I think, um, I actually don't know if there's public invention. Oh, there is. Okay, so you can probably... I'm sure they're open, yeah. You can use a public invention slot. Okay, so go to Invention tab here. And there's a bunch of skills that might be required, maybe not. And here's what you need. You need... Well, you need the blueprint. You need a copy. You need data cores for each. There'll be two data cores always. And then you need this data interface. This is racial as well as it depends on the type of blueprint like if it's a module or if it's a ship, etc. Uh, so just look that up on the wiki. That's what I mean, the wiki. This is, there's a lot of kind of little details with this. So don't worry about that. Just uh, look at the Wikipedia if you can do invention. Uh, so you'll, then you can look up what you need and especially this interface. You can also add a, another item that determines the tier two product that you get. It's, ME and PE level because these are dependent on the materials that you add. What it's called is a decryptor. The decryptor is something that you can add if you want. You don't have to add it. But what it does is it modifies the resulting PE and ME level. Just look that up on the Wikipedia if you're interested in doing any invention. I don't need to go into that here. That's, that's advanced. Um, okay. That's invention. I think I covered that enough. Um, so there are public invention slots. Okay, there's also one more called reverse engineering, and that is for wormhole space stuff. You can kill stuff in wormhole space, and it drops these random items. And then you can uh, once in a while. I don't know if I don't think there are blueprints that drop, but there's some uh, there's some item that drops, and you can run it in a reverse engineering lab. And there's probably public ones. Yeah. Oh, no, there is not, or at least not in this region. I guess maybe there, I don't know. I've never done it before. Uh, you reverse engineer an item that you get from wormhole space, and then it turns into blueprints that you can use to make components for those tier three ships. So just look, look it up on the Wikipedia if you care about that stuff, but that's not something for new players anyways. Okay, uh, now recommended uh, ME and PE levels. So it's pretty standard for anything over a cruiser, so battle cruiser, battleship, I guess just those two, to be ME50. That's a standard copy, is ME50. You could get away with an ME of 10 on a frigate, um, 15, 20, maybe 15 on a cruiser, at least 25 on a battle cruiser, and then at least 30 on a battleship before you'd ever want to manufacture it and that's merely a consideration of waste. You'll also notice that sometimes looking on contract for blueprints you see uh, copies with zero PE. That is a pain to uh, manufacture with because then you're going to be killed with uh, the full time it's going to take to manufacture it. So that's just inconvenient. So you want to stay away from uh, PE uh, zero blueprints if you're going to buy copies online or copies on the contract. So what you can do with the the, uh, the blueprints, as I mentioned, is you can research. You can buy an original off the market. You can research it up and then you can sell it. Um, can you do that be, by only uh, researching the PE because the ME slots are all filled up public? Uh, you can, but it's not going to be much money. Uh, you could. It's not worth it. I wouldn't do that. 
Um, so you could research a, a, an original, work it up, and resell it. People do that all the time. You might make 20% on your money if you do that. Um, there are all kinds of people like me that copy blueprints that they don't use anymore. As I mentioned in my other series, as you progress through building and manufacturing, you will upgrade into blueprints and then not use others. So you might build frigates for a while and then you're done with frigates, you've invested in a cruiser blueprint, now you're building cruisers only because it's more money. What do you do with the frigate ones? You can copy them and copy them and make his money. It's fairly, uh, it doesn't, co there's no real material cost either. Copying is just the original only. You throw it in copy and that's it. There's no material cost. It, there's only a bit of, if you use public labs, it costs a little bit of money uh, to use the slot, but it's, it's uh, not much, it's, it's minimal. Um, or you can manufacture with the blueprints. Okay, now we need to get into player-owned stations. I think that's enough for labs and enough for blueprints. Um, actually, first and before that, I gotta get into, I gotta talk a little bit about research uh, projects because it's sort of related to, to um, invention. And I'll just talk about it briefly. So those data cores that I, that I showed you, I'll show you them here again if you go to invention. These data cores. These data cores come out of agents that are R&D agents, and you may have seen some in your travels through different stations. What those are is these different data cores come from those agents. You sign up with them based on a skill, and I think it's, it's called research project management. Each level of that gets you an additional agent. You start with one, and then if you, then you train the skill up and you get more agents that you can um, work with, I suppose, or, or have. And then every um, day, every day you get p research points and those research points can be cashed in for data cores and you can leave them, uh, you can leave them as long as you want. You can leave them for years if you want and they just keep accumulating data points and then one day you come in and cash them in and get data cores out of them. Uh, so there are, an, an agent will have about four or five, an agent will have a level, an R&D level and then they will have four or five of these skills that they produce data course for. So you pick one when you start with a, an agent. You find an agent that has the, the skill that you want, the data core ability that you want. And then when you sign up with that agent, you just pick the one you want for him to use. And each of these little thingies has a skill of its own and it's called what it is. Galente Speech of Engineering is a, also a skill and the amount of data points you get per turn is dependent on the agent's skill as well as your skill in that. So that's just some calculations. So anyways, you can look up more of that if you want, but that's just briefly on data course. Okay, now I'm gonna get out and show you player-owned stations. 